Hey guys, it is me, Halo's Awesome. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Yes, it's been a while since I did a Minecraft convention, but I'm back now. Um, so let's get started. Today, I will be showing you um, how to make an automatic potion brewer. This video, this uh, invention wasn't sponsored by Mr. Crayfish, so check out his channel. He's a very awesome YouTuber. I'm following him. He's very great. Yeah, it's awesome. But before I start um, um, showing you how to do this, uh, if you like, just leave a like on this video and smash the subscribe button to never miss, yeah, another video that I'm doing. So, uh, right in front of me, as you saw in the beginning, is the automatic potion brewer. I don't have anything on there, do because, you know, I forgot how, uh, how, I know there's 13 items that need to go in there. But, um, this is the automatic potion brewer I made. It's very simple and easy. I like it. It's not, the, it doesn't take that many materials. Other than a couple, couple hoppers and such, and you can toy with it. You can add um, uh, water bottles to it. Um, if this video gets um, five likes, um, I will show you. I will come back to this uh, invention again and hook up a couple other stuff you can um, add on to this uh, invention. But anyway, it's nice. Um, uh, you add. Uh, you just basically select your whatever potion you want. Um, then you click the button. Whoopsies, have I got to add one more thing? It's supposed to actually go up like this, so. Always on these videos, I mess up. So, bear with me in mind as I do this. So, hopefully, we can, um, do this, and, yeah, let's get started. So, for this, you need a block of your choice. Um, you need redstone, redstone comparators, redstone repeaters, droppers, a uh, redstone torch, uh, you need your brewer stand, and of course you need item frames. So what you're going to do is that you're going to select an area where you like to do. In this case we'll build over here. I have made some other redstone visions so if you go on my channel here and look back a little bit ways you can um, see what inventions I made. But first we're going to start out with a little 3x3 three three area. Next what you can do well, first you're going to take your block of choice, then make a 3x3 three three area. Next, what you're going to do is come behind here and go out 9 blocks. So we go 1, 2, th 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Next, you're going to take out your comparator, redstone comparator, place it behind here. And then what you're going to do next is that you're going to place redstone all the way along here. Take your redstone dust, like so. Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to take your repeater and you can uh, do it on on which side you like I don't care but it does it, it, it all depends on you so I'm um, stumbling yeah <laughs> always stumble Nick and then you're gonna place them along here along the redstone right below a block below like so next you're gonna take your block of your choice again and then just place a block in front of each comparator uh, repeater sorry then you're gonna take your redstone torch you're gonna uh, place it along this block like so then you're going to take your repeater again and place it on top of this block and put them on full take delay. Oopsies. Next, you're going to t then you're going to take your block still, in this case our stone. You're going to place it on top of this repeater here. You're going to also place it on top of the redstone torch here now you're gonna and you're gonna continue that with your you're gonna continue like so Next, you're going to take your droppers and place them facing forward. Oops. You're going to take your redstone dust and connect it right here. You're going to take a, your block of choice again and place it on top of the redstone, like so. 
you're gonna bring this middle block here out a bit ways and you're gonna connect and then you're gonna run redstone all the way across you're all gonna need a button so you're gonna place a block here and a button here and then you're gonna take your item frame and place it on your three blocks like so I should have done that first but that and there you have it on one side and then you're gonna just repeat this process again like like so place your brewer stand right here of course and you're gonna repeat it on the same side so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna place three block you're gonna place your person brewer in the middle because the hop is gonna come down here you're gonna go one two across then you're gonna make your three area like so you're gonna come up five actually from your potion brewer then you're gonna do the same thing so you're gonna place nine blocks and you're gonna repeat the process like you did on the other, on this side wow. before place the oh don't place your redstone torch there sorry my bad hey We're gonna place our blocks in front of the repeaters as usual. Ah. Place your redstone again. Bring this up like so with a button. There we go. You're going to take your harper, place it on top of your uh, brewer, bring it all the way back here. And there we go. We have our automatic brewing station. Next, you're just going to cover this up, make it look pretty. I'm not going to take the time, but that's your automatic brewer. Oh, I forgot to add our frame. Of course, I forgot. Why else? I always forget. And there you have it, your automatic potion brewer. I like this because, uh oh, and also, before I explain more further, you should get an arrow. Place it in your metal, of course. And yeah, and then you place your whatever items you're gonna brew. Um, just remember though, when you do start out, notice that the arrow is pointing to this item frame here. That is because um, this item frame here is your first one. So it's gonna click here first, and then it's gonna start from number one all the way down from here and that's why and yeah your corner your upper your right your top right corner is gonna be your first item that you're gonna put here so it might be a puffer fish it might be redstone whatever and after that you just click this button and it goes in and then of course it starts brewing and that my friend is how um, an automatic potion brewer is formed now, if you like, I hope you like this video, guys. Um, like I said, I'm sorry for the stutter. Um, 
I've been up, up to par lately on Minecraft, but hopefully you like this video, and if you do, leave a thumbs up for it. Um, and again, I'll see this again. Um, if this video gets five likes, I will come back onto this potion brewer and add um, a couple new inventions, um, combining a couple of new inventions, such as the elevator that you see here. But other than that, yeah, it's I like this. It's easy. Um, it does take up a bunch of space, though. I'm kind of disappointed. But other than that, you know, I I like it. it. Uses way less material, way less items. Oh well, not less items, so way less items combined. Don't have all that fancy hard electronics. So, but anyway, I'll catch you next time, and I'll I'll see you later. Bye.